TypeScript generics might seem complex at first glance, but once you understand them, they unlock a whole new level of power in your code base. At their core, generics are placeholders for types, just like function parameters are placeholders for values. The T here says, this function works with any type T, and whatever goes in must come out as the same type. For example, here the identity function returns a number when passed a number, and a string when passed a string, with full type safety. Imagine you have a function to get the first item of an array. The array can include any type of items including numbers, strings, objects, etc. This is where you should generics. This function accepts an array of any type T and returns the first item in the array in that type if it exists. Otherwise, it returns undefined. You can also build reusable data structures that work with any type. This is very useful while working with APIs. This way, you can use the API response type for any API response that returns a data property of type T. If you want to ensure a generic has certain properties, you can use extends. In this example, the type T must have a length property of type number. This makes the function work only with types that fit the constraint, like string, array, or custom objects with a length property. In addition, you can provide fallback types too. This lets you create a generic function that works with any type or a default type if no type is provided. The key of operator retrieves the keys of an object type. When combined with generics, it allows you to access a property value from an object in a type-safe way. This function takes an object of type T and a key K that must be one of the keys of T. Yes, TypeScript generics look intimidating at first, but once you start applying them, you'll wonder how you ever coded without them. Thanks for watching.